All right, this is about olivines, and um, <clears throat> I believe that olivines, I know I'm just going to make this statement, but it looks like it to me. I need it to be proved. I need it to be tested. I believe those are olivines, and I believe those are little, what they call, plagioclases. And this is the fascia. That, if you've gone through the fascia facilitated fossilization, this is what protects the layers. Now, if that was gone, some of this would erode away, and, and there, I, I have evidence of that in other fossils. Now, if this is olivine, the Earth is virtually made of olivine. There's, there's tons of olivine. Now, this all plays into the olivines, garnets, and diamonds. They all fit together. They're all the same part of the process, and I will go through that process in another video. But this is strictly about connective tissues in living bodies ends up being olivines, and I'll explain that in a second. All right, this is a tendon. And that, that's the tendon mat, and these are the anchors, the tendon emphasis points. And that little ball is supposed to be inserted into uh, a tuberosity, which is a hole in the, in the bone. And I believe this is also one of those. I cut it flat here, but I believe this is a tendon emphasis point. And the ball, and I can, I'll show you some more about this in a minute, but it... it has all of the same characteristics and it has all of the, the fibrils in the end, which I'll show you that in a minute. But you can see this round, it's a round ball. And that is what should fit into a tuberosity. And that is the, the part that goes through what they call a Chinese finger trap. And that is what locks it into the tendon. And I don't know, it's just what it is. All right, this is that same tendon I was just showing you a second ago in the, uh, up against the electron microscope version. Now, you see the outside crust here? That crust is fascia, or it's a synovial sheath, one or the other, but it's, it encapsulates these to keep them sliding back and forth. Now, you see these little white dots? I believe this is olivine. The material here is olivine and the little white dots are what they call pl plagioclases. Or maybe it's schists or something, but they're the little, little spiky little crystals. Now they claim that these things form from recrystallization and I say no, I say that form because life concentrated these crystals in the, those places. And when these little tiny fibrils come down, the little tiny fibrils come down, they come down here and they blossom in a, in, a, in a ball. And that ball inserts into tuberosities in the bone. Now this had a secondary piece on top, which was a secondary part of the ligament. And that, it fractured here, but uh, you can see that that did the same thing. It came back. Now that went somewhere else. Now I don't know if the anatomy in here, what kind of anatomy is. I look at human anatomy and animal anatomy, it looks exactly the same. Now you see that stuff, if you look in the previous one, uh, the previous electron microscope shot, if you look way up off, off to the left above, you'll see this stuff. And this is what they call leucine-rich proteins if, it's, if it is a tendon. And that is slippery and they slide back and forth and they do what they're supposed to do without any, any friction to speak of. And, and that's how these tendons work. And, that's, and they're just gigantic because you saw the microscope one and this is like not microscopic. This is, um, I believe, it's a tendon um, complex where you have the top and then another one and another one underneath. And normally those are in like fingers and things like that. Um, this is quite large though. Now this, when, I, when this first snapped off of here, this plate snapped off and this was as blood red. And this was a few days after, I'm sure, but it was literally wet and bloody. <laughs> And that is what's called, if, it's, if it is what I think, and I'm pretty sure it is, I think it's leucine-rich proteins. And those are the slippery things that make these slide. And that is an emphasis point that 
penetrates down. And, and, and that's just what it is. So I, I believe I need somebody to look at this. I don't have the resources to follow up on this. And I'll show you this now in its present state. I just put some water on to see if I could turn it red again. But it dried out like blood dries out and turns brown. All right, this is that same rock here. All right, now if you see, you see there? That's that spiky stuff. It's all crunched in together. It doesn't have that perfect look like the other one did. But this is what locks your tendons into place. And they call these plagioclases. And from what I'm told, they claim that they're only caused by recrystallization of subducted sort of melted rock. And, it, and the, the crystals in it just flocculate back together. They just come back in their own, <laughs> come together for some unknown reason. But I don't believe it's true. I believe these are, these are living creatures that created these concentrations of, of chemicals in certain areas. And that's a, that's a blood vessel there, I believe. There's some more to plague yolk place. Now, I believe that these, these concentrations of chemicals are, were brought together by life, not recrystallization. It's totally, totally wrong, is my mind. I, I could be wrong, but I don't think it, I am. And again, I need to test it. But there's, there's signatures of life all over these things. And nobody will look. There's that crack. If I crack that open, you're going to see the same blood you saw in the first one. All right. This is one of those plagioclases that uh, uh, eroded. That's, uh, this is what I'm believing. Now, again, I need to get this tested. But I believe that the tendon came in from somewhere down here. And that was the tendon emphasis point. And these are those spiky little plagioclases. They, they go right into the... And, and that's what locks it in, so it can't come back out. I think it came back out of here. That's all I can say. I need somebody to test it. I, I don't have the ability to test it. But, I mean, you could clearly see it's almost like their teeth. And that's exactly what they are. And I have other, I can show you a lot of this stuff.